All right, this video covers some course startup information for honors physics this year. Um, first thing you should do is go to the Wilson School District website, right, www.wilsonsd.org. We're going to find my website to start here. So first thing you need to do is go to Wilson High School in the drop down here on the left. All right. Uh, once you've reached the school, you can click faculty. Um, so you can either do a search uh, by department, you could go to science, or you could just scroll down to M and find Melagrana. Okay, and you'll, you'll be at this part where there's, you know, some background on me, but website, right, is right here. And once you get there, right, first thing you should do is bookmark this site because you'll be using it um, plenty of times this year. All right, so just up here, um, you can hit the, the star and bookmark it for yourself. Uh, notice on this page, okay, um, there's the course syllabus. There are links to, to some special websites that will be used very often in the course this year. Um, my YouTube channel, Edpuzzle, um, some physics simulations, uh, some other sites that are very useful. Uh, Right in the middle of the page here are the course's learning targets. So whichever unit that we happen to be working on, if you were to click these, it's a very detailed explanation with links to documents um, that will basically cover what's on um, the tests and quizzes within each unit. So this is a very, very useful um, section right here. Um, if you go down, there's a link to our virtual textbook. An assignment turn in, scientific calculator, uh, graphing um, website called Desmos. Uh, if you or your parents have not signed up for the Remind app uh, to, to be aware of class uh, homework and things of that sort, due dates, test dates, I uh, please advise you to sign up as soon as possible. Also below here are two calendars, one for the Honors Physics Algebra 2 section as well as the Geometry section. Um, you'll be able to um, stay aware of basically everything we do in class will be on this calendar. Uh, first thing you should do here, whichever calendar uh, pertains to you, where this little plus symbol is right here where it says Google Calendar, please add that. And then that will show up in your Google Calendar. Um, you'll be subscribed to mine. So uh, whenever there are changes, you'll see it immediately. Okay. Down here is just some background on me, where I've been, what I've done, what I've coached, what I have advised. So the list is getting longer here as I get a little older. All right. Um, one thing I want to do here quick is just look at the course syllabus, right, which is located here. Okay. Um, there's a breakdown here of the units covered in the Algebra 2 thread as well as the Geometry thread. There is a tremendous amount of overlap. Uh, many of the units we cover are the same. There are a few differences though, and that pretty much comes down to the fact that those are units that overlap with your engineering course. All right? Principles of engineering if you're in Algebra 2 or intro to engineering design if you are in geometry, right? Hence, there's a, a little bit of difference. Um, there will be an, a year-long research project. Um, you'll get groups later, probably around November, near the beginning of quarter two. Each group will also be linked up with a local engineer or business person who will serve as your mentor. And you'll be in contact with them extensively. Um, you'll be required to keep that communication open um, and you'll be getting a large summative grade uh, that will mix some of the class grades together near the end of the school year. There will be plenty of uh, information regarding that as we move forward. All right. You'll see these posters up in a few of our rooms. Um, these seven skills that a STEM student should exhibit um, this pretty much rolls you through the design process. Um, you can take a look at those uh, when you get a chance. Uh, grading and weighting in honors physics, with it being honors, is an 80-20% split 
between summative and formative. Um, summatives, if they're larger projects, are not retakeable. Um, those things that are able to be retaken, um, you'll get a little bit more detail later what you have to do to go through and take a retake. But in physics, you're able to take either the subjective or objective part or the whole thing. All tests are broken up into two pieces. And that's detailed at the bottom here. Okay. Um, once again, this is a direct link to your virtual textbook. Um, and this is the uh, direct link to my website. A reminder about signing up for Remind. Um, calculators are recommended. Although you can use your Chromebook, uh, sometimes you'll be able to use your cell phone as a calculator, but during testing situations, you're going to need a calculator in order um, to go through with your, uh, your test or quiz. Um, cell phones in my classroom, um, there'll be a, a procedure for when you're allowed to have them out, when you are not allowed. Uh, we'll go through more details about the consequences, but um, cell phones are not to be used in the iSTEM lab at any time. Um, we don't want any distraction with the equipment out there. It, it could be a danger for the many students that are out there. Um, we understand, right, cell phones are useful, but they, they can also be a di distraction, uh, especially when Fortnite Mobile is one click away. All right, looking forward to having a great year with you guys. Um, don't be afraid to ask questions of me. Um, I'll be able to help you uh, pretty easily. All right, see you guys tomorrow.